my god, who dragged this piece of shit back to the barn? That wasn't me, I assure you. Oh, I wanted to crush this thing with a dozer, but not enough good looking women showed up this weekend. Um, why have you been working on this thing all day? Uh, to make it live again. Chevys are supposed to die someday. Everything's supposed to die. I killed this car! You killed it three times, and guess what? Hopefully, if all went well, you get to do it again. Ha! Okay. Well, he's been working this thing all day, taking rod bearings out. Two spun bearings. And oh, crazy gluing them back in again and welding connecting rod bolts. I'll and it when I see it. Now let's see if this thing's actually going to start. If you want a good mechanic and it starts, call Backyard J. If it doesn't start, call me. If you want a good mechanic. Ready to go, guys? Alrighty. First test, moment of truth. No way! No way! Oh, wow! Can't believe it! I think you better sign your name on it. Yeah. Well, the reason it seized up while it went off the cliff is because it had, what, about four out of five parts to one water to, compared to oil. It's in there if you want to get yeah, it. Like, yeah, let's show you what came out of this thing. So here we have what came out of there, which is about three times more liquid that was supposed to be in the oil pan. Looks like coffee to me. <laughs> yeah, if you had a car like that, it would seize up too. Now we got to see if the transmission still works, because it's all full of water too. Yeah, let's give it a shot. And, you know, I had this car all prepared for scrap metal. Yeah, well, too bad. And guess what I did? I cut all the wires through the computer. And I never expected Jay would ever come back and try to get this thing running, so he reattached every single one of them. And the thing ran, and that computer's been under the water twice. Hey, and show them the radio still works. A submerged radio, twice. See that? It still drives! Oh my god! No car has ever taken that much abuse at David's Farm and lived to tell the story. Chevys never die. Well, go to Backyard Jay's channel and watch his own video where he took the crankshaft all apart and took the rod bearings out and fixed it to see that this is a real true story. And he made it back.